Mais sur les 20 ans, est-ce que vous avez la sensation que vous Ah bah ça a bien augmenté, oui, ça c'est sûr. Euh... Est-ce que c'est lourd, c'est pas très lourd, c'est correct euh... Mademoiselle, tout pèse dans mon budget. <rire> voilà, c'est tout. Ma réponse est faite. Tout pèse dans mon budget. Bah oui. The trend towards greener energy is necessary and inevitable. Financing green energy naturally means higher energy prices, which is felt most strongly by those less fortunate. In 2015, 9% of the French population reported that they struggled to pay their energy bill. The current collective mindset always looks to produce. But what if this isn't the answer? What if instead, we look to recycle what would otherwise be wasted? Although it can't be seen, there's a large source of waste which often goes unnoticed. There's enough waste heat in the metro that a small part of it is already being used to warm public housing. The vast majority of the remaining heat is lost to the atmosphere through huge hot air vents. What if this heat could be recaptured and reused? Similar to the electron transport chain, which harnesses free energy in living cells to power the production of energy molecules, and power captures wasted metro heat and transforms it into usable electricity. The key would be the Peltier tile, which generates electricity from heat without any moving parts. Banks of Peltier tiles would be installed in the hot air vents, creating a low cost and low maintenance form of green electricity. And power is more than just a technology. And power is a sustainable mindset. Heat in the metro is far from the only source of wasted energy in the modern city. And power is an early stepping stone, paving the way for other innovations with recycled energy. By lowering the price of green electricity, what once hit hardest on those most vulnerable will now provide the greatest relief.